Hi everybody! Welcome to my uh five tips to make sure that you're having sex at every single moment of your entire life. Uh one. Uh you can do uh, you can do a lot of things to, to, to... Oh sh dude! Ah! Welcome to the Pump Up Kingdom! I'm in Michigan right now, and I'm in a different part of Michigan than where I grew up. I grew up in the middle of nowhere. My dad's a farmer. And sometimes I help my dad on the farm, and a little over a year ago, I was helping my dad with the corn harvest. And where we live anyway, there's a lot of people who hunt deer to kill them. And deer hunting season is in the fall, and what happens is that the deer get scared by all the hunting that's going on, gunshots in the woods, etc. Their home is under attack. They go into the cornfields because the corn is very high at that part of the year. The corn is like higher than a human. So the deer can hide in the corn and it's a very thick environment. They don't get killed in there. So the deer are often taking up refuge inside the corn. But then when you go through harvesting the corn, you're making their hiding space smaller and smaller and they eventually get pushed out. And so when you're getting to the end of a field that you're harvesting, there will be some hunters who pull up in their pickup trucks and their orange hats and they will sit in the ditch and they will have their guns and they will be waiting for the deer to come out so that they can shoot the deer in the open field. I just feel so pissed off at these hunters. I want them to suffer. I, sorry to say that, I don't literally want them to suffer, but I like, I get pissed. Why is it so valuable to you to kill this deer? They're just trying to live with their family. Look at this deer family that I just saw on the way here. I saw some deer running together and they, they just seem so awesome and so nice. I love baseball, man, because the topsoil is just so good here. Oh, man, there's so many microbes. There's a free fucking tractor tire over here. Yes! This is a great place for somebody to put a free tractor tire because a lot of times this is going to be your target audience for tractor tires at the baseball field. My friend recently pointed out to me that I have a very prominent split down my tongue. Not everybody has that. Now I love that about me. Look at that. You know how apples on the inside, if you bite an apple and then you leave it sitting there, it'll get brown. Yeah, everybody knows that. What happening is that it's getting oxidized and it turns brown. The reason why the peel doesn't turn brown, because the peel has all the antioxidants. Boom! Antioxidants are real. They're not just made up fake things. No limits for the whole vacation. And we're going to have fun. What can you be the Hulk Hogan of in your life? This little tree is the Hulk Hogan of not having any branches at all. If you want to play with my rabbits later, you know where to find me. If he's Christian, I'll hang with him. If not, Fuck him. Dick Cheney has access to my kennel. He's in my dog's kennel. I was out here lumberjacking and I fucked my back muscles. Now my son's gonna fucking go off on my ass. I picked up a fucking log and it fucked my traps. My back muscles are absolutely fucked to hell. I was logging. I was logging when it happened. My kid has absolutely fucked his glutes. 2016 is the year for me to really leave a lot of shit on earth for people to discover later. I'm like one of those guys in a fight who's a bro who sucks and he's like, hold me back, hold me back. I'm like that guy, but I'm not saying hold me back. I'm saying don't hold me back because I'm ready.